By now, you've learned a lot about your habits, strengths, and weaknesses. And the next step is to prioritize what you study. To do that, you're gonna organize everything, content areas, question types, and strategies into one of three buckets. Strengths, areas to prioritize, and things that you wanna get wrong faster for now. Bucket one is for your strengths. This is stuff you typically get right and on time. I know you think you need to learn everything, but these are relative strengths and just for now. You're not saying that this is permanent, and as you improve in other areas, you might find that things in this bucket need to be recategorized. But for now, give yourself some credit for the things that are going well. Now bucket two is for anything that you're going to prioritize. Think of this as your low hanging fruit. These are things you often get right, but are taking too long, or you're making too many careless mistakes. And when choosing what to include, consider how frequently the content is tested and prioritize more common topics. A list of those common topics can be found in the tracker. And again, these are just for today. As the things in your bucket two improve, you might move them into bucket one. And if you find that they're not improving, you can downgrade them to bucket three. Speaking of bucket three, imagine that you're gonna take a cat tomorrow. What topics are you pretty sure you'd miss no matter how much time you spent? Think about the topics that are the most challenging or frustrating for you. If you saw them on the test, you'd wanna get them wrong faster. Well, these are the exact topics that should live in bucket three for now. As you move things out of your bucket two, you can begin to move these items up. But why waste your time on these when you have faster fixes available in bucket two? Again, all of this is just for today. Things will change from cat to cat, and in fact, that's why we take them. I mean, I still have things that live in my bucket three, and I've been teaching the GMAT for ages. As far as I'm concerned, compound interest formula and anything to do with a cylinder can live in my bucket three forever. Finally, navigate to the main page of the tracker and think about your habits and your priorities. This is your study plan. You'll split your time as suggested between quant and verbal and focus first on the bucket two items. Now that you've put in the work to review and set your priorities, it's time to start studying. You'll work with this plan until it's time to take the next practice exam. At that point, you'll evaluate these study goals against your performance and then update your buckets. So you're ready. Happy studying.